Okay, this video is part of a series. Be sure to check out the full playlist. There should be a link in the description of the video and also hopefully at the end of this video. If you get to a video on the playlist and says it's not available, that's because it hasn't been published yet. Just be patient. Uh, we are working with the Moto G, but a lot of what we're doing today is going to be very similar on most Android devices. This is a Moto G uh, for play. I didn't say that in the last one, and it does make a difference. Uh, today we're going to be looking at putting a custom recovery on there. In this case, we're going to be looking at uh, Twerp, or Team Win Recovery Project, maybe? Something like that. Okay, uh, so the first thing we need to do is boot back into the bootloader of the phone. So the first thing you need to do is boot into the bootloader of the phone, which the way to do it on this phone is to hold down the volume button and the power button with the phone off. And after a few seconds, you go, go ahead and let go of the power button. And you should get the screen with the little Android with his stomach open. And uh, next we need to pick up a copy of the bootloader that we want to load. I said bootloader, I meant recovery image. And again, we're going to go with twerp. And we need to know what version of phone this is. So you might try to search Moto G, but there's Moto G4, there's Moto G4 uh, Play. I mean, they're different models and you need to get the right one. So since we're already at the bootloader screen, let's have a look at the information that's on there. And right here on the bootloader screen, you can see product variant and it says Harpia, I believe is how you say that. So let's go ahead and search that at the Twerp website. So I Googled it and Twerp Team Win Recovery Project, which I believe is what I said. So I was right on the acronym. Go ahead and under the first link, they have devices. We'll go ahead and click on that. And I'm gonna type in Motorola and let's see what we have here. And another ones that come up have that code name of Harpier or whatever it is. So let me try searching specifically for that. Oh, and would you look at that? Why would it not come up when I typed in Moto? Right, it didn't come up when I typed in Moto. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, there it is. We'll go ahead and click on that. So we can ignore all this app install, which requires root. We're kind of doing this in one way to get root. We're going to scroll down here to just the download links. And here, uh, I'm going to go for primary Americas, because I live in America. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the newest image and download it. Now again, we are still at the bootloader screen here, by again holding down the volume down and the power button, and like going with the power button, should bring you to the screen, and we're hooked to our computer through USB. And here, uh, again, I'm going to do sudo, because I need that for permissions on my machine, you may or may not need it depending on your machine. I'm going to say sudo fast boot, and uh, just to make sure it sees, I'm going to say devices and the device does show up with the serial number. And now I'm gonna say sudo fastboot. And now we can flash the recovery or we can just boot from the image from our machine. So let's, let's talk about those two options. We can boot the image or we can flash the image. What are the differences? So basically you have different partitions on your phone just like you do on your computer and one of them is a boot partition. And if we flash the image, what we're doing is we're taking this image that we have on our computer, pushing it through the USB to the phone and then the phone's going to take that image and overwrite that boot partition. That means that anytime you want, you can hold down your volume and power button, get to the bootloader, and go into recovery, and you can go into this custom recovery. The other option is just to boot the image. So basically, the difference between that is we're going to be taking the image, pushing it to the phone, but instead of overing that partition, we're just going to load it to RAM, and the phone is going to boot from that. If you're familiar with Linux Live CDs, that's basically what we're doing. Instead of installing Linux, we are going to boot the device uh, using an image uh, so if you ever use uh, a, a Linux Live CD where you boot to RAM, where it basically copies the file system to RAM and boots it, that's what we're doing here. Now, all depends on your preferences. Are you going to be using the bootloader a lot? In some cases, uh, on some of my devices, I don't want to mess with the partitions too much, so I'll just boot to it when I need it. And it works just the same as if it was flashed to it, except for I need to be at my computer and have that image, where if you actually flash it anytime, anywhere, you can hold down those buttons again to recovery. Good and bad things. Again, that means anybody who has your device can now copy all your, your information. But uh, either way, whether you plan on flashing it or just a one-time uh, uh, boot, booting it to, uh, to RAM, I would suggest booting to RAM before you flash it just to make sure it works. If it doesn't work, well, then you might have the wrong image and you don't want to flash it because you might mess up your recovery system. So, for the initial test, I'm going to say boot and then I'm going to give it the image name. And again, I am in the folder with the image. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and we're gonna see that it's downloading, it says okay, it's booting, and my phone has rebooted. 
And there we go, team win recovery. But now if I was to reboot the phone and go into recovery, it should still be the factory recovery settings. So now that I know that it works, I can play around with this. Uh, let's go ahead and just flash the phone. So I have restarted the phone by holding down the power button until it restarted, then holding down the volume and power button again, letting go with the power button and getting to the bootloader of the phone. And now we are going to run basically the same command as last time, but instead of boot, we're going to say uh, flash recovery. So we're telling it, instead of booting from that image, we're going to say flash, and what partition are we going to flash? The recovery partition. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, and it uploads it. And on the screen of the phone, we're still at the bootloader. It didn't restart it, it didn't boot anything. It just basically for reformat that partition, or reflash that, re-image that partition. But now I can use these volume buttons, and I know, again, it's hard for you guys to read that, but I'm going to go down until I see recovery mode. I'm going to hit the power button. We're going to get our normal bootloader unlocked since we unlocked it in the last video. And after a few seconds, fingers crossed, team win. And so now we can unplug the USB and use this flash uh, recovery system to do a bunch of stuff. So now at this point, the initial welcome screen for uh, Twerp Team Win Recovery Project is going to ask you if you want it to modify your system partition or leave it unmodified. Uh, modifying it will allow you to root it and do a bunch of things to the to the system uh, partition, uh, but initially I would say keep it unmodified. I would do a bunch of backups of the entire system using this recovery system, save those images, and then next time if you want to modify it, feel free to. Because once you modify the system partition, uh, in a lot of cases, you can't take official updates. And if you want to go back, even if you plan on doing a custom mod, you may at some point want to go back and upgrade your phone from the official updates. And if you mo modify the system, uh, you won't be able to do that. I did that with my tablet many years ago, and I can't update it, and it's still running Android version 4 point something. Um, so make your backup copies, then you can modify it after that if you would like. So this is what the welcome message looks like, and I do want to let you know that if you don't modify it, the next time you reboot into Android, when it reboots, it's going to overwrite Twerp with the original uh, factory recovery system. So if you want to keep Twerp on here, you will have to modify it, but again, I would do the system backups before you do that. Now, I'm not going to go into detail on how to use uh, Twerp uh, or any type of recovery. It's pretty straightforward if you've ever had an Android device before. You've probably done this. I mean, if not, it's not the hard. Follow the instructions on the screen. It's all touch screen. It, it's, it will tell you, um, you know, do you want to do backups? And it will back up images and it will date them for you. And you'll want to do that every so often. If you're making a lot of different ch changes to your phone, do that. But if you do them, it's going to back it up uh, to storage on the phone or an SD card if you have an SD card, but take that and back it up somewhere where it's not on the phone. <laughs> that way if your system ever gets wiped, you still have those backups and you can get back to whatever settings. And you know, you can do that every so often, uh, you know, maybe once a year you'd like to do it, or even just the first time so you can always go back to these original settings whenever you want. So again, we're playing with the uh, Moto G4 Play uh, and but everything I'm going over is going to be very similar with a lot of Android devices. Uh, again, uh, working with the bootloader, working with Fastboot, I recommend if you're looking for an Android phone, Android phone, I'm not going to say buy this one or that phone as far as uh, ma uh, brands or models, but I will say uh, you can make your life a lot easier if you want to make modifications. Find one that supports Fastboot. Uh, so, Keep on watching. This video is part of a series, and we have a little bit more coming on this series. We're going to modify uh, the boot partition, uh, and we're going to make it so that you can run your own custom shell scripts at boot, which is the system. Again, this is I'm doing this with this phone uh, for a project for a friend of mine. We're working on this business where we're going to be collecting data with drones, and rather than having a Raspberry Pi with a bunch of wires coming off it and extra battery packs. Uh, we have decided, after playing around a lot, that an Android phone is probably going to be the way we want to go with uh, most of the data we're collecting, and so I just need it to be more like a regular Linux system, which means I need to get it to where I have root access, and I can run my own custom scripts at startup, and I really don't feel like writing Android apps because 
I'm not going to say I don't like Java, but I hate writing stuff in Java. It's like you got to write a book just to <laughs> create a Hello World program, and that's just a little bit of how I feel about that. Anyway, so I do thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There should be a link in the description. There's a uh, button on that website that should bring you to a support section where you can support me if you'd like with PayPal or through my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash melex1000. Of course, through Patreon, uh, you know, you get some bonuses like uh, early downloads and stuff like that, depending on what level you're supporting on. And any, any amount of support helps. I do thank you for watching. Please visit my website, again, filmsbychris.com. Chris, Chris with a K, there's a link in the description. Like, share, comment, subscribe. It really does help. The more views I get, it does help a lot. So, have a great day. Okay, continuing. This is part of a series, George, blah, 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 blah.